controller this time. I also like how your definition of quick is like you I definitely you definitely asked me like a month ago to do this, but you know, I, I really I really love that that you're you're preparing and you're kind of looking at everything, you know, to try to make it the best show possible. You're not trying to, you know, put this on in two days. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean I, I I wanted it to be good, but there were some things that I just didn't look into because like I said, I my first time. So thank you guys for bearing with me through all of this. But we are going to have a real match here, hopefully. Now he goes along with the law, Darth Arma. Oh, okay, okay. That's what he okay. just said in his native and, language. Uh, <laughs> he turns into... <gasps> oh, my God. He's he so turns spooky. Into, like, right? During some of his animations. Like, yeah, he just... has he has the, the, the crow dash where he has... A, it basically becomes a corpse dash. Let's see. So it, it, it can go over to the other side. And that, again, that's very important in this game. Uh, because yes, it can. Fun game. Oh, wait a minute. Are we going to see it? Wait a minute, Foxy, with the infinite... The throw resets and then reset him low after he tried to hold up. Foxy making good use of Hisako's incredible set play off of her throw options. No punish that on that DP. Of, yeah, it was basically a DP, but a shadow form DP. What's yes, the... fully invincible. Yeah, the regular ones are not fully invincible. They have slight invulnerability, but not much. And a reactionary punish with the parry from Hisako. That is a zero frame parry. She can wake up with that. I love how Foxy's just like walking forward during like the in between round sequence. But hold on, this uh, the kill the kill Sage. Here. He's here. Oh, he's going for some throws of his own to spam. Yeah, and it looks like Foxy kind of knew that, and that's why he was holding on to up, uh, knowing that the restand was coming. Foxy right. all of him, big DP, and that's gonna be a punish. Good use of those farther reaching buttons. Now is that was that an auto a heavy auto double? Correct. Okay, yep. so he recognized it. And there's another one right there. He went into an ankle slicer and went straight into a heavy auto. Foxy knew that he was probably going to be dead if he didn't break it, so he went for the breaker. The worst that was going to happen was that if he got counter broken, he was dead anyway. So there was really no reason not to break it. And that was not breakable there. That was actually an opener off of a normal. So that shadow DP actually was completely unbreakable. And again, a heavy auto double break. These players know they're heavy auto doubles. Now hasaku has got her uh, instinct activated. Ooh. Okay, and I know yeah. she's got so like, when she's in instinct, her wrath meter doesn't go down when she uses her Naginata normals. They actually never go down. It doesn't go down at all until the instinct runs out. Yeah, it kind of looks like Foxy didn't really get to utilize that, though. A lot of that time went away during, you know, in between, but, you know, he doesn't have much left oh, to go. The dash up command grab. Oh, and again, yeah. went for it! The patience. Oh, and the overhead into the lights! Foxy with the cheeky overhead option. The overhead and the low option are unsafe off of that wreck of string, and there are big gaps in between. But for people that don't know about it, can get caught, uh, you know, falling asleep at the wheel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to be ready. You got to be ready to react to those. Absolutely. And for uh, for somebody like the Kill Sage who might not know absolutely everything about Hisako, that is something that she can definitely get away with. So good stuff to Foxy. But I don't think uh, I don't think the kill stage played that poorly at all. I think he's super. Oh no, oops. <laughs> yeah. I always update the score in my desktop show, and I don't know why. Because uh, Streamlabs OBS Hope, uh, is uh, is fun. Um, okay, so game two here. Uh, we're gonna have uh, a change of stages. We're gonna go to Ice Haven. Now, I know there's uh, some stage. Uh, what do you call? They're not fatalities. They are uh, not fatalities, Darth Armor. They are stage ultra combos. There you go, stage ultra combos. And not every stage has one, but there are individual stages that do have certain ones where the only way to activate them is to be on a certain part of the stage and to do your ultra with the opposite button input. So if your input for ultra is quarter circle forward and punches, when you're at the stage ultra, you would do quarter circle forward and kicks. And look at the patience between these players right now. Yeah, Foxy utilizing those very, very long normals of uh, Sako. Looks like that was an overhead. And uh, that should be a command grab. Uh, Absolutely. Get... Yeah, so when she command grabs, she doesn't get anything else off of it. It's just kind of, you know, an Oki situation. It's an Oki situation if she doesn't have full wrath meter. But if she has full wrath meter, she can convert her two frame command grab into a combo. Uh, and it restands. So you can just use it as a restand and go for a you know, more set play. Yeah, it looks like Foxy was challenging there with buttons, trying to swing. And, yeah, uh, which was unfortunate for the kill stage because he was using his Sandy Light Kick in the corner. That's actually plus two on block. And uh, Foxy was able to get a crouching medium cut down in time. That means the kill stage missed his meaty timing. So right there, the kill stage activated his instinct, saw that Foxy was pressing a button, and canceled into into his uppercut. Absolutely. Okay. okay, okay. I'm seeing. I'm following it here. I'm glad I have you because I have a lot. Of 
And I'm glad I have you, because I, I want these questions to be asked. I want people to learn this game, and you're, you're a perfect fit for this. Yeah, for anyone who is hating my commentary, because it's like, oh, he doesn't know anything. Why is he asking me? That's million the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Foxy Grandpa taking the lead here. Yeah, doing a little teabagging on his way as well. Oh, he loves that. He loves that. <laughs> that was a, a regular anti-air button. And, yeah, that was uh, Crouching Heavy Punch into a recapture. Her Shadow Air on Ryozan is a, uh, a recapture boot. And it looked like uh, the Kill Sage had a, a lockout uh, because of the timing, just like Foxy did there. Uh, Correct, the... and he was able to take the round with a 26% combo <laughs> off of a wake-up, everybody. Welcome to Killer Instinct. Fair. Okay, yeah, that, I believe that was the low there. Blocked well by six to kill save, but now... Yeah, nicely done. Now Foxy's going to establish some pressure. He has some full wrath meter. He's going to be able to combo or reset off of this command grab. Okay. Oh, and the heavy auto counter breaker. So, you know, like we said before, like the way that these guys set the pace, you know... Oh, and the T-Bags! Foxy, no! Wait! So, are you are you okay? <laughs> I can't believe he just did that to him. Are you okay? I'm hurt. I'm hurt for to kill Sage. Uh, I'm a little hurt for him too. That so, was so rude. <laughs> that's Foxy though. That, that's that's a million percent Foxy. Like it doesn't that's matter. That's how he is, man. That's, that's just what he does. Yeah. He, he, he's basically just looking for attention. Um, now these guys were calling out the uh, heavy auto doubles in the beginning of the match or in the beginning of the set. So, you know, we kind of saw the, the mind game or the adaptation evolve from there where, you know, Foxy did the heavy auto double, but then did the counter breaker. Yep. Uh, yep. Because they had already established that they knew what each other's heavy auto doubles looked like. So Foxy was like, okay, I raise you one. And since he knew that the kill stages are, you know, he already established that he was breaking them. Right. So he just immediately went for a counter breaker. Like, okay, uh, two plus two is four and I'm going to do it right now. And that's, that's all that was. And it worked. Foxy up two games here against the Kill Sage, who is not playing poorly at all. He's just, again, uh, the Hisako matchup seems to be uh, a curse for these new players. <laughs> He's very strong. Yeah, oh yeah, very, very strong. Uh, now the DP from Thunder. Oh, it's reset. It's, it's, uh, it, you're saying the regular one is not fully invulnerable, but is it like No, no, it's upper body invulnerable. That's about it. Uh, oh god. Oh god, he's, that wake up button. That was wake up buttons into instinct. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> Is that in this game? Not really, no. It shouldn't be. Yeah. The, the fastest buttons in this game are like four frames. Okay. That's pretty fast. That's pretty fast, bro. Oh, went for the flip out. Missed it. The parry. Oh, a... no. That's not going to work. So and the overhead. Block it. He thought he was going to block it, and then he was going to go into command grab. Correct. Yep. But Foxy ended up getting hit. Oh, really... the standing light kicks. That's a four frame button that's plus two on block, and it flips out if they're in the air. Wow, big brain. Foxy falling asleep at the wheel. And a nice counter with the air on Ryozan. So he read that he was going to go for the command grab and he jumped. Or he was holding up. Yep. What a reaction from Foxy Grandpa parrying the, the follow up after the DP. The reset after that light linker. And the reset off the grab. How many throws? I don't know. Living up to his name of throw spammer. Oh, and a parry on the jump in. That's a huge mistake. So do you not jump in on this character? Is that like, is that a uh, big thing? You kind of have to, because you want her to, you, you want to bait the parry with like an empty jump. And wait a minute, Foxy, go for all these. Big lockout, wait a minute. Big reset to kill Sage. Level four cash out. He's going to actually get the life lead here. Oh, crap. oh the light breaker. The kill okay. Sage. Has so to be he, careful he, here. Foxy's in instinct that has the fastest dash in the game. And the dash up command grab to kill Sage stays alive. So Foxy went for that light breaker because he thought that the most uh, likely uh, route there was not going to be something slow and reactable, but in fact something very, very fast that could just kind of get the job done because Foxy is uh, really low on health. Is that right, uh, right. And he just got scooped up for his troubles. Yeah. Wow. That was that was really good stuff from the kill stage. He uh, he took a risk and it paid off for him. That was that was really really good. I like that a lot um, from the kill stage. The dash up throw, um, that that crow dash, you know, has full invincibility the entire time. So he can't get hit out of it until he's in recovery. I see. And I see. He, he just dashed up in her face and just scooped her up. Beautiful. So one to two, the kill stage trying to bring this back. I like it.
stay alive showing why he's a top player. And yeah, just a top player, not not specific to, you know, any game. He's he's uh definitely a top player uh, across many, many platforms, many communities. Right, right. And he had the he, he had the knowledge to know, like right before he was about to go into Ultra, because he hit that back grab and he started comboing into light auto doubles off of it. He could have went straight into ultra off of that. But uh, Foxy, with the awareness, knowing that lights are the most common thing to happen at the end of a combo before Ultra, broke it just on intuition and was able to finish the combo. Or to break the combo, rather. And a nice have, reset. Is the score 2-2 two, two or 2-1? Two, uh, it's 1-2 to two to kill Sage's up. Uh, er, Foxy's up right now. Okay. An immediate okay. ankle slicer. That is a low special move that, that brings... Uh, Thunder's Hurt Fox back very far, and that is a guaranteed punish. She cannot delay her Rekkas against Thunder. This is going to be a huge cash out. He didn't cash it out with the meter. She's still alive. No, it went one too many. Was that a drop? That was that was a drop. Of, yeah, that was incorrect. Got to the end. That was incorrect. Yep. And just for that, Foxy popped his instinct and was able to take the round. Unfortunate. Oh, got caught jumping. Medium manual. He dropped it. And a command grab right in her face. I think Foxy went for a parry. The kill Sage has his instinct activated. He can make a huge comeback here. He's turning into crows. That's going to work. Crows. To the stomp. Flip out. And the overhead. Foxy was ready for it. Ooh, went for the whiff punish. The medium punch didn't go far enough. And got caught out of the ankle slicer with the standing medium punch. That is her one of our farthest reaching buttons. Oh, the really? kill Sage is out of there. Yeah, he was, he's was holding up to uh, avoid the command grab, correct? Right, right. And there's another one. You can jump to avoid it or backdash. Oh, this is going to be enough. Not... Wait. Never say die. Oh, he's going to have to. Foxy takes the uh, the, the set 3-1. to one. But a good effort from the kill stage, man. He was really fighting. That was really good stuff from both players. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, congratulations, Foxy Grant.